A hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to automate notifications with using Amazon SNS and AWS Lambda. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts design of my demo. You know, so here in this video, you know, I am going to explain you like how does this, you know, the demo scenario works in the first part. In the second part, I am going to show you like, you know, how to configure all these components, connect to each other and finally we see the demo of this, you know functionality before that a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note let's get started with the first part of my demo so here i'm going to show you like how does this you know design of my demo works okay so here the scenario is you know how there's a scenario like how you know you need to automate a notifications okay there is a certain operations is happening based on that operation you need to send a notification to a subscribers okay let's say there are huge list of subscribers okay so in such cases this is the you know design which come, comes in picture okay for example let's say your business application is running and there is an end process where a file gets created and uploads you know gets uploaded into the amazon s3 bucket as soon as the file gets uploaded into the amazon s3 bucket you need to send a notification to all your subscriber right so in such cases this is the you know this is the design comes you know very handy in this case okay so as an application here you know i'm using some admin here so this you know picture represents an admin and admin uploads a file into the amazon s3 bucket or it could be an application up, up, uploads a s3 you know and an object in the in a amazon s3 bucket and that would invoke our aws lambda in the aws lambda we have written as such a you know a, a business logic in, in using any kind of programming language here i will use python code i will show you so once the you know event invokes the lambda from the event this lambda extract the data and creates a custom message and publishes that message to a particular you know uh, uh, sns topic and to that sns topic we have like n number of subscribers right and those n number of subscribers will be notified with this you know with this operations so this is the scenario this is the scenario you can call it about you know automating such kind of notifications okay all right so basically now this was the overflow okay so currently we are using three components of uh, three service components of amazon or, or aws that is amazon s3 lambda that is aws lambda and amazon sns yeah all right okay so before i walk you through the component setup let me walk you through the code first okay so here whenever there is an event invocation happens so the lambda will process a python file or a business logic file you can call it out anyways i will upload this file in in my github repo and the github repo link will be shared in this video's description you can find it from there okay so the, here i am leveraging the aws given boto3 module that is which is a sdk in python right so here i am using the you know import module uh, boto3 and here I'm keeping the variable called topic here and because to that topic only we are publishing SMS, you know, SNS uh, messages. And then I have created a custom, uh, you know, function called send SNS in that one. It have the parameter like message and subjects. And if you see here, you know, I'm creating a, uh, you know, SNS client and you see, and uh, it is a Boto3 module and we are invoking the client function pointing to SNS services. We're going to get the client here. Once we have the client, you know, we are invoking an API within SNS called publish message. Okay. So within this one, we are passing the parameters again, like topic, ERN message that you need to publish and the subject line of the message. Okay. And finally, we are checking whether, you know, we are rightly hitting the endpoint or not by checking the, you know, status of that particular API endpoint. Okay. That is HTTPS status code. We are checking if it is returning 200, you know, status code. If yes, then we're going to say, you know, yes, notification is been sent. Anyways, I'm going to show you like, you know, when there is a publish happens, we're going to receive the notifications. I'm going to show you from everything from the scratch. Okay. So that is the function being written. And here is the Lambda handler. Okay. So this is where the, you know, the start, uh, the processing will start. In the Lambda handler, we are just printing the message. And then in this one, so since I am using, if I go back to the diagram, I'm using the S3 bucket and, uh, you know, file upload as a, you know, invocation to the Lambda. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm iterating through the events, uh, event records, getting the, you know, bucket name, getting the key name, framing the path, nothing but one, you know, one, one HTTPS path or S3 bucket path. And that path will be used in a message uh, body, right? And that is where I'm just framing a message, just for example, since this is for example, the file is uploaded and in, into the S3 bucket. That's what I wanted to show you. And the subject line I have kept is, you know, process, processing is complete process completion notification. Yeah. And then we are invoking the functions with these uh, message and subject 
right and finally checking if the you know if if we have successfully published the message or not yeah this is very simple and you know very easy code i can say okay so we use this logic and you know use uh, use it at our demo scenario that is automating the notification sending okay all right so for this case i have already created a bucket and you, if you see the bucket name so here is a bucket that is you know i created a easy to automate and i'm going to use this bucket to invoke my lambda as well okay all right so if you see my screen so i have already opened three tabs one is the you know uh, functions lambda tab this is the function lambda tab this is a sns tab this is sns tab okay okay all right and i also have my you know aws sorry here i have used uh, you know i have opened my you know gmail inbox where i'm going to show you how gonna, how i'm going to use that uh, you know gmail inbox uh, for this sns you know uh, subscription purpose and sns you know reception purpose in the sense we're going to subscribe to a topic and also we're going to receive the you know messages from the, that particular topic as well all right the first thing i need to do is i need to create a lambda here i'm going to create a, a very uh, blank lambda from, from the scratch let me call it as a you know sns yeah so here i'm going to use the uh, uh, runtime equal to python because i have written the logic in python right so i'm going to use the uh, uh, the runtime equal to python 9 which is the latest one and uh, uh, architecture let it be you know 86 uh, cross 86 underscore 64 in execution lambda i'm going to use my you know normal as usual you know lambda that is etl um, lambda access role so that is this is a lambda which has a trust on the aws lambda and has a complete access maybe you need to narrow down the permissions okay if you want to do something yeah so uh, if i need to show you i'm going to show you parallel as well i have just opened that for, for you uh, so that you can visualize you know what does that ets etl lambda role you know contains all about all right so first one before it, it opens i'm going to create a function with these configurations and it takes you know less than a seconds to create a aws lambda if you see here it has created for us and this is not enough i need to go to the configurations i will go to the configurations i will just fine tune the configurations here so if i show you here i know i'm going to increase the you know increase the uh, memory to something like 1 gb yeah because uh, we just need you know better memory for better performance okay so i'm just gonna clean up this uh, you know maybe increase these uh, configurations and i will keep the runtime equal to maximum which is of 15 minutes yeah and then i will keep as it is rest all configurations i'm just so basically what i'm doing is you know i'm just updating the configurations here and in the trigger as i said okay if i go back to the diagram here if somebody is uploading to our s3 bucket it should invoke the lambda so for that case you know for that case i have to i have to add the trigger in the trigger i'm gonna choose a service like s3 bucket right in this one you know i'm gonna choose our bucket that is easy to automate I'm just using this easy to automate and in this one I'm going to select the you know object create events all object create events I need that to be notified and I will just select this invocations and that's all right so this is very simple like you know where you are making connection from you know Amazon S3 bucket to AWS Lambda to trigger right and that's all so it was very simple in in console wise it is very simple but if you are doing as a programmatic like it could be you know using the Python Boto3 module or you could be using uh, terraform module then you know you need to connect these connections with using infrastructure as a code languages yeah. all right so i'm going to go back uh, to the code so i need to upload the code so yeah, if you see here by default it will have the default code which just includes you know we just include some you know hello world informations so for that case what i do is i'm going to copy this code uh, and i'm going to replace it anyways this code is not complete i need to i need to change the sns topic here which is, i have not yet done i will do it once I create, you know, create a SNS topic. Just now, I you know, just now we are done with the two components. I will go back to the diagram. We created S3 bucket. We made the connection between S3 bucket and AWS Lambda so that it invokes, you know, whenever there is a file upload happens to that S3 bucket. And I have promised to show you, like, you know, ETL Lambda role, how does it looks? If you see here, I have given highest you know, permissions to this Lambda role. But you can narrow down the role uh, based on your permission needed. Here, you just need to have the SNS publish notification plus, you know, CloudWatch uh, access, yeah, plus some S3 bucket access. Okay, you need three services permissions here. Along with that, I have kept, uh, you know, the trust relationship to the, you know, to the Lambda, which is very important. And rest all, you know, I have added because I'm using this role often. So I have thought to just showcase you, okay, what is there in the role. All right. Okay, so we are done with the role, uh, you know, uh, bucket, uh, lambda. Now we go to the very important service that is Amazon SNS. Okay, 
Now, what I need to do is I'm I need to create a topic here. Okay, I don't have any topic. I go to the topics. Here I don't have any topics. Okay, I'm creating a topic from the scratch. I don't want first in first out, but I just create a standard one. And let me call it as a my topic. Yeah, my topic. Okay. And display name I don't I don't care about display name and rest all configurations like data protection policies encryption. These are the configurations recommended at the production workloads. Maybe you need to explore. Okay. And the encryptions, if you'd like to, you know, encrypt the message also, you can do it. Then access policies, okay, so if you can see here, access policy, okay. So basically, currently it allows everybody. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, so if I go, any, any everyone, so maybe I need to just change this one, if you see here. Define who can publish these messages, okay. So maybe only the topic owners are, you know, the everyone, you know, anybody can publish. So generally, I will keep this, anybody who can publish this message. Or if you'd like to, you know, a specify a particular account, maybe, you know, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, these are the very narrow dino. Okay? So in the sense, you are narrow, narrowing the, you know, making, you are increasing the security of message publication to this topic. Okay. So for now, I'll just keep it only this one. So define who can subscribe to this one, anyone. So I will keep generally, I will keep this, who can subscribe and, you know, who can publish this message, everyone, because, yeah, all right. Why? Because you know this is just a demo purpose. Maybe you need to narrow down these configurations in our production workload. Okay, so all right. So next one, I will keep these optional. That is delivery retry. So delivery retry will come in picture whenever there is a delivery failure happen, and these configurations can be leveraged. Okay, uh, for for certain business use cases and the delivery status logging, you also can be you know um, uploaded here. Okay, so for example, you know delivery. So for example, somebody you are you are publishing a message. And the message has been subscribed by n number of you know subscribers. If the message has been sent to all, then you know it's gonna return you something. Right? Delivery status. That is where the delivery status logging. Alright, then then you know um, then I am also the Amazon SNS requires the permissions to write a you know a logs to the CloudWatch uh, something. Okay, so I'm just uh, gonna give this delivery here, and so let me create a service I am role. So I will just tell it to create a uh, create a IAM role on its own, okay? Because that is a bit complicated complicated here. Okay, I will just create the topic. So basically, what we did is, you know, we just created a topic called my topic. Okay, maybe here, you know, file upload is a topic. Yeah. So if I can change uh, the name, I, I cannot change the name because this is one time creation. All right. So right now I created a my topic, okay, where it will tell you what is happening at your S3 bucket, okay? So this is the one part of you know this is a one uh, you know small topic uh, this is a one part of job one part of task that you have done on Amazon SNS after that we have to go and subscribe it right so one is to subscribe what I need to do is I need to create a subscription okay so for this case uh, here and topic that is my topic so this is the one I need to keep it in my lambda so I will copy this here and I will paste it here right. So you are nothing but you know you are keeping the topic here in and uh, you are publishing okay so this makes the lambda configurations complete okay so i'm scroll i you know i'm scrolling up and down don't get confused i came back to the sns lambda i modified the you know variable called topic rn with the arn name of my topic which is just now i created all right in the protocol um, we're gonna choose the protocol because here i know i'm gonna I'm going to do emailing. Okay. So if you see the protocol, you have a number of protocols here, but here I want to choose, you know, email anyways, based on the demand from the business, I'm going to create the further protocols as well. If there is a demand is more, yeah. All at right, the end point. Okay. So an end point address that can be, you know, that can receive this one. Okay. So since we are creating a subscribe, you know, I need to, you know, I need to add my email address because we you know we are using the protocol is sending an email. So here I'm going to, I'm going to add, uh, you know, the endpoint that is uh, my, uh, an email inbox. I'm going to give my, you know, email inbox, uh, uh, you know, email address generally. Okay. So this is called email inbox. You can Gmail. Yeah. So this is, uh, you know, I, what I did is I, I'm giving endpoint as my email. Okay. So this is my email address. All right. So, and then after that subscription filter, I don't want to add dead letter queuing. I don't want to add. Okay. So I will just keep it very simple. So here subscribing subscriber is what? You know, subscriber is a, an email address. Okay, so you need to send a, the SNS has to send an email notification to this one. Okay, so if you see here, subscription to that to the, to this topic is successful. Okay, so if I can go back above, right? So um, 
important changes to the you know, sending a text message this is nothing to deal with our configuration this is something you know aws is publishing some messages okay some warning informations okay um, aws will generally do it if you see here so just now we have added an endpoint called uh, in, in in email address to send an email right so in this one uh, so if you see the status it is pending confirmation with this status pending confirmation you will never get a notifications so what do we need to do is we need to accept the subscription okay you have subscribed it and the amazon will send a notification amazon will send an email to this inbox or to this email address telling that you know somebody has subscribed you know have you subscribed to this particular sns topic if yes please accept the notifications that's what it, it means okay if i go back this one here you go right i just got a notification saying like you know amazon aws notification subscription confirmation number okay subscription confirmation purpose so this is the topic that you it tells you know, this is the topic you are subscribed to confirm just click here and confirm okay if you are not confirming then you know you will not you will never receive any notification okay so that's the reason to avoid the spamming you know um, spamming of your inbox so this is what you know you know aws has taken a, a preventive measures okay if i um, or you know security measures i can call it as so i will go back to the subscription and let's refresh it should be you know status should be confirmed i will go back to this one so i will go back to this one and here you go right so my subscription this is my subscription which we have just done to this topic is confirmed yeah so basically what we have done is we are done with the configurations here right now this is the end point okay this is the result to realize yeah so basically we have done with the settings that is you know creating s3 bucket right and uh, making the you know creating aws lambda making the connection between these two so that whenever there is a new upload happens can kicking this lambda or invoke this lambda the lambda will read the event create a custom message with the you know the s3 bucket path and publish that notification to the amazon sns topic and to this sns topic i have subscribed my email address so that you know i get a notification in my inbox right now this is what we have set and now it is time to you know time to uh, do a, a testing so i will go to this you uh, know do go to this s3 bucket so how does i need to test let's say i am here this is the you know this is admin i am here i am a business owner for example okay i am uploading to this you know s3 bucket so for that case what i go is i will go to the this bucket and i will click on upload i'm going to upload some dummy uh, thing a dummy you know dummy keywords okay or, or you know dummy files for example i am uploading this you know s3 bucket.json file i will upload this you know so as soon as i upload it should trigger the lambda and it should, we should get a, a notification okay let's see where are we now i will just refresh it here you go we got a notification right i will just open this file uh, yeah so this is what we got right so if you see the process completion notification the file is uploaded to the s3 bucket to this path right so this is what this is my bucket and this is the file i uploaded right so this is very you know blink of eyes this is very you know spontaneous you know like microseconds maybe you know maybe microseconds yes so that's how fast you know aws sns services and that's all so i have successfully shown you the things to be shown in this video yeah all right so i'm going to show you the multiple file upload as well so when you say when you when there is a multiple file uploads we're going to receive multiple notifications okay so for that case just hold on a second i'm going to show you the final test demo so for this case what i do is i'm going to upload these two files yeah so maybe i will upload the another files from another folder maybe this one yeah so i'm going to upload the three files and we should get a three notifications okay because that is how you know that is how the logic has been written and here you go right so i have uploaded three files and we go to the uh, inbox and we should see uh, three notifications here you go the notification is there here right you see the files have been uploaded one this one pm right so all dot pm file dot json file right so we have got one two three notifications right so that's all so i have successfully shown you the things to be shown in this video finally a kind request uh, please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video thank you